Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In the previous tutorial, we talked about what a visual workflow is, what is a flow and what is a cloud flow designer. I just gave you a quick overview of a cloud flow designer tool, what is a palette, then you've seen the tools, etc. So now we are going to go ahead and create our first flow using the cloud flow designer. And here are our requirements. So the requirement says, first thing is show an intro or a greeting screen. Then allow the user to click a button to get to a screen to enter in her full name in one field. And then allow the user to click a button to get to the next screen to verify the data he entered. So this is what the flow should look like. So the first thing is a screen should pop up. And in the screen, there should be a welcome message. And then there should be a next button at the bottom and which should take you to the next screen. And in this screen, there should be a box to capture the name of that user. And then there should be a next button on the screen as well. And this particular should take you to the third screen here where you it will show you a thank you message and should show you the name that is you have entered in your previous screen so this is how the flow should look like at the end of once we have achieved this requirement so this is how our requirements look like so we have to create a flow here which has these three different screens in the first screen you will see a welcome message in the next screen you are going to have a box to capture your name and then in the last screen, there should be the whatever the name that you have entered in the previous screen, you should see that name in the next third last screen. So let's go ahead and create this flow using our Cloudflow designer. So let's go back to our developer console here. So we are going to go to our developer account and we are going to create our first screen, show an intro or a greeting screen. So we'll go here. One more time, I'm going to tell you, go to the setup and then in your search box, type in flow. And then you're going to go ahead and click on this flows link. And here we are going to create our new flow. So click on this new flow button. And this is what your canvas will look like. It might take some time to load, but just bear here. So this is the palette here that you're going to use to create your flow. And the uh, first thing is, what is the requirement says? Show an intro or a greeting screen. So we have to show an intro screen first. So going back here, you can see there is a user interface called screen available. So let's go ahead and just select that screen and drop it on the canvas. Okay, so from the palette, we picked up a screen and now we dropped it on the canvas. The moment you drop it, it shows you this pop-up message. Now, what is this is telling you? So you have to provide the name for the screen, right? What the screen is, what is the purpose and all that. And so it says, use the screens to collect the user info, input or display output. So if you want to capture any information or if you want to display something to the user, then you can go ahead and use the screen. You can even customize the screen by adding and configuring fields to display to the user. So if you want to display any fields, you can use any of these fields to display it on the screen. So let's first go ahead and provide the name for the screen here. So let's say we call it as a welcome screen. And let's say the unique name is welcome. So this is our first screen here. Now it under the navigation options, it tells you what you should, what do you want to see? Do you want, after the screen, do you want it to show the previous button or do you want it to show the finish button or do you don't want any previous button or you don't want any previous finish button? So what you want on the screen? Do you want any buttons on the screen? If yes, then what kind of buttons do you want on the screen? So at runtime, screen display the next previous and finish buttons when relevant. So if you have two screens, then it is going to show you on the first screen, it will have a next button. And on the second screen, it will have a previous button, all that based on how many screens you have. 
You can also configure the screen to show the pause button, although the pause button will only, only appear if let users pause flows is enabled in your organization process automation setting. If this particular setting is enabled, in that case only, you will be able to show the pause button. So here we are going to go ahead and leave it as it is, the show finish and previous buttons and hit OK. So we're going to go ahead and hit the OK button. So now what we have done is we have created our welcome screen here. Okay, this is our welcome screen that we have created. Now this is our flow. So this is our first, we have only one screen created. And let's go ahead and try to save this flow before our computer shuts off and anything happens. Let's save this flow. So once you hit the save button, you can go ahead and save the flow by clicking on this save button here. Go ahead and click the save. And let's say we call this as my first flow. So this is the name of the flow that I'm creating. Tab out and you will set up your unique name as well. And then you go ahead and hit the OK button here. So now you will see here that on the left hand side, you see this my first flow means the name of the flow is my first flow. And once you save, you got these warnings here. One is the activation warning and then you have a journal warning. So let's look at this activation warning here. All issues listed must be fixed before you can activate this flow. In order to activate this flow, you need to address both these issues. The first issue that we have is the flow must have a start item. Even though there is only one element on this canvas, there is only one screen, but they don't know, the Salesforce doesn't know if this is the starting point or not. So you have to provide a starting point for the flow. How we will provide it? So let's go ahead and hit the OK button here. So in order to, when you hover your mouse, you will see this is the first one is a pencil, which is basically if you want to edit this screen. If you want to delete this particular screen, you're going to click on this trash icon here. And this is the third element, which sets it as a start element. It looks like a green arrow at the uh, pointing downwards. Once you click on this, this will set it as a start element. And once you click on this button, this whole box will also be appeared in green. And once you have done it, we are going to go ahead and hit the save button again. Now, one of the warning has gone and you can ignore the next warning. These issues don't prevent activation. Welcome screen is not connected to anything. Since there's only one screen, we have not connected it to anything. That's fine. So we are going to go ahead and hit the OK button here. So let's go ahead and run this. So we have created just one flow with our one screen only. And when you run the screen, this is what you see. You just see the name of the flow here. And then there is a finish button automatically. Since there is only one screen, it shows you the finish button. And nothing is there on the screen because there is no text you have added on the screen. Nothing you have done. So this is how your flow looks like. We have still not done with the requirements yet. But this is how you create your first flow and you have added a screen here. And once you can even close your first flow, this is how you've added a screen here. If you want to edit, you can click on this pencil. If you want to delete the screen, you click on this delete icon or the trash. Or, and if you want to set this as a start element, then click on this green button here, which basically sets the screen as the starting point of the Flow because in order to run the flow, flow should know that where I'm going to start. So you have specified your starting point here. So this is just we have created our first flow. And in the next tutorial, we will go ahead and continue with the rest of the requirements. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.